From the looks of it, our next guest seems to be having a uh, pretty good summer. He's one of the stars of the blockbuster Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, and his latest movie, Mobsters, opens this Friday. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to the program, Christian Slater. Christian! You walk out, the place goes nuts. Ludicrous. Uh, <laughs> it must be pretty exciting, though, don't you think? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's it's uh, it's all very exciting. You know, I mean, I guess there was a time where I might have looked at it as as a little scary. Yeah. But now I'm sort of uh, sitting back and, and uh, enjoying it. And exactly. I, I think so. You deserve it. Exactly. Thank uh, you. The last time you were on the show, let's see, uh, when was that? Uh, I guess I was just turning uh, 21. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who yes. else was on the big program that night? Uh, oh yes, Buddy Hackett. Buddy Hackett. Yeah, Buddy Hackett was here, and he was telling lovely stories, but uh, backstage... <laughs> I think, as I recall, he was very amusing. He was night. very, very amusing. Yeah. I, I, I like him a lot. Um, but backstage, he... he uh, <laughs> what? Something happened backstage? Yeah. <laughs> Sort of brutalized me. He, really? He, uh, uh, I was I was smoking a cigarette, and I guess he owns that green room back there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, he came in and told me where to put it. Uh -huh. um, so I, I I I respected the man, yeah. uh, uh, and I put it out. And uh, did you guys settle your differences, or was that it? Thank no, God. no. I'd right like it? to. I'd like to. You know, maybe he could come on with us. You know, <laughs> okay. uh, another time we could we could get this out. Let's of the uh, let's talk a little bit about this, uh, Christian. Robin Hood uh, action figures. <laughs> and here we have Will Scarlet with crossbow, and uh, and, uh, and that's that's you right there. With the crossbow. Yeah. The likeness. Sony arrow you can insert into the crossbow. <laughs> the likeness is uncanny. It really is. <laughs> uh, let's see, what does this thing go for? This is uh, ages four and up. Yes, this would be too complicated for anybody under four. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's great, the, uh, the descriptions back here, it makes it look like it's a highly technical uh, device, but you just go like this. <laughs> that's, that's, that's how you get it to be, the that's action a, figure. That, yes, that's how you it, get it, it to fly across the room. Action, you know, it's, it's, now, do you, you, must, you must get a little something for that, huh? Uh, I get joy in my heart. <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, that's what I receive. Yeah. Uh, but let's talk a bit about uh, uh, mobsters. You got to uh, work with Anthony Quinn. Yeah. He's, yeah. he's fun. He's a real interesting, entertaining man, isn't he? He, he, he definitely is. Yeah. I mean, there, there's no way you uh, can sit in a room with him without, uh, I mean, hearing some great stories. Yeah. Uh, he, he is. Uh, you just. He increases your knowledge uh, about history and, and uh, that kind of thing. Uh, he's a great storyteller, right. too. The first time I met him, uh, we were in this nice house uh, with the producer and the director talking to him. And, uh, well, we, we, weren't, we weren't talking to him. He, he, he was doing most of the talking for about <laughs> <coughs> four hours, four hours. And, and we all noticed the sun was starting to set. Uh, and, and as it was setting, his chair was moving with the sun. <laughs> it was kind of a... <laughs> He's managed to light himself uh -huh. as he tells the story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it was a good story. He was telling. Um, I guess he has a reputation of being uh, a bit of a you know ladies' man. Uh, so he would tell us all how he swiped all all of uh, Bugsy Siegel's ladies right out from under him. Is is that uh, actually you know, uh, or just because of the mobster movie, or this is the truth now? Well, this, no, this is the truth. Yeah, this is the truth. He he was he was full of these stories. He 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 told us how he uh, spent nights hiding in Hollywood, you know, from guys chasing him in uh, in dark limousines with <laughs> tinted windows and that kind of thing. And then he eventually ended up having to go and and uh, have a meeting with uh, Mr. Siegel and uh, because of his activities with Bugsy's girlfriend, Bugsy says. Tony, come in. We need to Mom, talk about need, this. We need to yeah. chat. Yeah, I mean, if you were being chased around by mobsters, I would, you know, want to settle up. I would want to, you know, straighten it out. So Anthony was very brave. He goes down to Vegas to meet, uh, meet him, and he was nervous, but he, he he was honest. He said, "Look, I'll tell you, Bugsy, I slept with her. You know, I'm sorry." And he just looked at him and said, "Well, she was a bitch anyway." And they got along. <laughs> they got along very well. Right after that. That's that's a beautiful story. Isn't that nice? like I, I don't know. 